Okay, we're doing a little junkyard history here today. Uh, this trailer is a Mullins trailer. They're made in Salem, Ohio. Uh, William Mullins was the guy that started the company. He started in the 1890s uh, making different types of pressed metal parts. In the early 1900s, he made stamped aluminum body panels for Peerless and Franklin and other manufacturers for automobiles. Um, they made approximately 2,000 of these. This one has a serial number that's right under here, 2298. Uh, maybe they started at 1,000, I don't know, but experts say they made about 2,000 of them. This one was used as a dog uh, carrier. It's got some air vents there. It was a hunting dog. It came out of Texas. It's got a 17 inch artillery wheels. Those are kind of cool. It's got leaf springs with an I beam axle underneath there. See the I beam axle right under there. Sorry about the wind. We're in South Dakota, so there's no cutting the wind off. Uh, got kind of a cool hitch on the front here. You check that out up here. Ball hitch. We'll show you inside here. Got a steel top. Kind of a, almost like a pickup box material. Got a steel floor with these spring loaded arms that fold up to hold the lid. Here's one of the original hubcaps. Mullins all steel. That's the original tail light. These here are, uh, these go on here. They're the latch hold downs. These are the same as a 35 or 36 Ford sedan. Uses the same latch. These trailers are all steel. The only modern ones you can get is a fiberglass reproduction of this. So if you want the real deal, you gotta find an old one. Made out of steel. And uh, this trailer cost a little over $100 when it was new. We got a little toy one here too, we'll show you. That's a little Studebaker promo. And that's the little Mullins trailer there. This is cast iron, and you can see it says red cap, red cap on the top. So this was a Mullins red cap trailer. The reason it was called a red cap was because of the, uh, the porters at the railroad stations would wear red caps so they'd stand out from the crowd, and that's where they got the name red cap Mullins trailer. They made these from 1936 to 1938. The only all steel two wheel trailer at the time. Uh, this company merged with Youngstown Press Steel in 1937. And it's rumored that the original dies for the trailers were in existence until the 1960s when they were sold for scrap, which is real unfortunate they did that. Uh, approximately 2,000 of these trailers were made. They were not a big success. Okay, so the file, the company filed for bankruptcy in 1974, years later, and was bought up by American Standard in 1975, and that was kind of the end of the history of that trailer. But you know, we just think it's a really cool old trailer, and that uh, you guys would appreciate seeing a little history on it. Okay, so now we're going to pop up some pictures. Uh, and we can tell you a little more history in better detail of why this trailer was revolutionary for its time. And uh, hopefully we can, you know, we can both learn a little more history on this trailer from the pictures. Okay, we've done a little extra research and we're going to share some of this stuff with you. Um, some of it is from the time that they made the trailers and some of it is predating that, showing you the company early on in their early days. Uh, we're going to show you some receipts here of what the trailers cost when they were new. We'll also show you, this is the uh, Salem, Ohio manufacturing building where they made these trailers. And here are some current uh, day, you know, when they used these trailers, when they were manufactured pictures of people towing them with different cars and such. Uh, also we're going to give you a little early history here. 
This starts in 1872. The company was called Kidridge, Clark and Company, and they made metal building ornaments that would go up on the top of commercial buildings, mostly. In 1882, W.H. Mullins purchased this company and renamed it to W.H. Mullins. Uh, they expanded to weather vanes, car parts, metal statues, and uh, metal boats and motors also. In 1892, for the uh, World's Fair Columbian Exposition in Chicago, they made a 18-foot statue called Diana, and uh, that was placed atop a building at the World's Fair. Later, they would go on to use that Diana statue as a logo on their Youngstown kitchen cabinets, which we'll show you here. And they also made another famous statue that is in New Ulm, Minnesota, atop a building. It's uh, the statue Herman, or Arminius. Uh, they also made a Diana II statue, which you can see here on top of the Madison Square Garden, which stayed there until 1925 when they demolished that building. And later on, after they made the trailers in the late 30s, in 1940, they started to make porcelain steel kitchen cabinets called the Youngstown line. And they postponed for World War II, made some uh, war effort items. And then after the war, they picked up and made these cabinets for a number of years later on. So I hope you uh, enjoyed our little history on the Mullins Company and trailer. And uh, we look forward to doing other history videos and, uh, you know, automotive history and things connected to automotive stuff. And uh, maybe you can subscribe and watch our, follow our future videos. Thank you.